you're here, you're single no more. Um, welcome, welcome, and uh, why don't you start out by telling us a little bit about yourself? Um, okay. Hi. I'm going to take off my reading glass. <laughs> and I had them on. Um, okay, um, hi. Um, I'm Maggie. Um, I'm 28. Um, I, I'm from Rochester, New York, and, uh, I, w I, I graduated from, uh, Rochester University. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, moved to the city a couple years ago, and I was a teacher out there, um, in a school in Brooklyn, and, um, it was, um, it was an experience, to say the least. And uh, it was really, really hard. Uh, so I, I ended up moving back home uh, last year um, with my mom. And I'm just working full-time at the florist um, company. Uh, okay, great. Um, so so what are you looking for? What, what's your ideal guy like? I'm, I really like... Uh, I'm looking for someone, you know, maybe... I'm just looking for anyone that wants to like laugh with me and um, like read and talk about politics and I I I, I don't know um, just uh, someone really uh, understanding and kind kind okay um so tell me about your, your perfect date. Okay. Oh, my perfect, my perfect date would be, like, first, uh, maybe, like, my, uh, my date would pick me up, um, and maybe he would come in and, and talk to my mom for a little bit, and we just kind of tell her what we're doing. I mean, not because, like, she needs to know, just because I'm close to her and I want to, like, let her know what I'm doing. And, um, so, like, then, like, it would be cool if we, like, went maybe, like, out to eat and get some, like, uh, Indian food or something, like, different. Um, and then, um, maybe we would just, like, have, like, a really great conversation about, like, politics or something. And maybe, um, maybe we could go to, like, a poetry reading. And, like, I don't know. That'd be really cool. That sounds Just a real gentleman. That sounds great. Um, so, tell us about about your day job. What's what's a day in the life of Maggie? Uh, um, let's see. Uh, I usually wake up at about six a.m. Um, and I I go for a run with my dog Goldie. The golden retriever. Oh my god, he's so great. Um, and then um, once me and Goldie get back, um, me and my mom get ready. We go to the flower shop, um, and I usually just kind of work there. And you know, sometimes I drive around New Rochelle and, and um, Rochester area, and just has some flowers. And that I have to say is like. Really great part of my day to like see people receive their flowers. I read um, the newspaper when I, I get bored at work because it is a little slow sometimes if I'm at the shop and not delivering. So I like to read the New York Times or like James Joyce is one of my favorite authors. So that's kind of what I do. And then I go home and my mom and I we watch Jeopardy and have dinner and um, you know I go I go to bed pretty early. I read a little before I go to bed and then that's my day. That's great. Um, love that you love to see people happy about their flowers. Um, so tell us, tell us something that's totally crazy about you. What was your craziest moment? Oh my god. Um, well, uh, when I was take your time. Um, I guess the craziest thing I've ever done. Um, I mean, I was 13, but, like, whatever. Um, uh, me and my cousin, 
um, my cousin Samantha and I, we went to summer camp in Vermont, um, and we went skinny dipping <laughs> with some other people, some other girls in the cabin, um, and that was, like, I feel like the last craziest thing I've ever, I mean, I mean, I mean, that I'm like, you know, it's just like, I like adventure, but, you know, I just, I'm pretty practical. Great. Thanks for sharing that with us. Um, tell us, tell us a fun fact about you. What's something we don't know? Um, okay. Uh, something you wouldn't know is that, um, I, uh, was, uh, 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 uh I was in a show, um, an educational show at Rochester University um, that uh, was um, a, a sex education show. It's funny. It's just like something you wouldn't think because like I'm, it's, it's like proper. Um, I'm quiet, but um, it's just a show I had, to, I had to speak to students and talk about sex and like STDs and stuff. Great. Um, so would you would you mind sharing your object with us that you brought to oh. to represent yourself? Yeah. Um, um, I brought um, this um, is something I got um, I went on a service trip to um, Mexico and um, um, I met like really cool people there. Um, this one guy, Jose, it was really cool. We were all, like, good friends. Um, and so he told me all about De Los Dias, which, um, is a holiday in Mexico. And so I got this De Los Dias, um, like, little, like, thing. Um, and, um, it has, like, a married couple in it. And, like, I just liked it because, like, I thought it was, like, a good object that, like, represents me because, like, I went on that service trip and then, like, this is, like, love. And that's what I'm looking for. That's that's really great. Um, is there anything else that you you'd like us to know? Uh, Any last words? Um, I I may seem like I'm nervous on this, and maybe like young, um, inexperienced, but um. I would say I'm a very mature lover. <laughs> yeah, but I just said that to be bad. I mean, I really, I really, I really consider myself um, very mature lover. So. Well, well, thanks, Maggie. Um, definitely be hearing from the viewers. Uh, you're a great, great candidate, and you know, mm. single no more. Single no more. <laughs> Thank you, Sigonomore. Maggie, 28, thank you.